So we're here live at North Coast Music Festival. Yay! Yay. We're, we're here with new master sounds. Hello. Yay. Hello, everybody. Hello. Irie, you like our little set? Yes, it's great. Can we, sorry, can we just get, get them to turn that music off? It's a terrible racket. I know. Somebody I don't think do they can. Something. I don't think they can, so let's press uh, off. Okay, yeah. And we must introduce... Lucky Mama, the giraffe. Hey. Geraldine. Geraldine. <laughs> All right, well, thanks for what, for coming and talking with us. First, I want to say we're here with the Roving Festival Rider and Rosemount Photo, and here we are. So I, I'd like to ask you guys some questions. So I know you guys have traveled a lot of places in the world, but the, one of the most interesting to me was Japan. Like, can you tell me, like, how that was? It was, it was great. Right? We were there last month, so yeah, it was it's, pretty uh, good. You're, twi you're twice as tall as absolutely every single yeah. inhabitant of the island, don't I, you? I, I keep getting stops in films because I'm really tall. <laughs> it's true. No, it's a good, a good crowd and everybody. Think they love our stuff, and we have a good time there. And there's 100,000 people in Fuji Rock Festival with not a single piece of litter dropped anywhere. Really? Yeah. Wow. They're a little bit weird like that. And they were very well prepared for the rain. It rained the whole weekend, yeah. but they all had really nice, brightly coloured sou'westers and hats and stuff. And wellies. Sou'wester? Yeah. Bust that one out. Yeah, it's just a great word. Oh, did it rain constantly? Yeah. So did you guys see anything that was like a major culture shock? Um, well, we've been there before a few times, but it's always a culture shock. You can go into any shop and not know what the hell you're going in, what, what they sell or what they do. The, the, it's like being on another planet, isn't it, guys? Um, totally. One of, the, one of the main culture shocks you get when you go there and, uh, say, stay in a hotel is that the toilets are all, like, electric robot toilets. Really? Yeah, with, like, things that come out and go... Zzz, 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 like that. And they <laughs> squirt water They squirt your... really hot water up your bum. Really? Does it feel good? It, it feel, initially it feels disconcerting and then once you like relax into it, it feels you, amazing. You can control the temperature and the velocity. Really? And you go, ooh, ooh. Yeah. We should get those in America. I, I think so. Uh, I'm I really surprised think so. you don't already have them. It's, it's, <laughs> so what are you calling ass a bum? Uh, a, a bum, yeah, we call it an, an ass. Bottom. Bottom or a bum? Or arse. 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 Yeah, I mean, we, would, we would say arse, but arse. Or arse. a rear end. Arse. But we, call it we call it the big old donkey. <laughs> Damn! And fanny means something different to us. Yeah, we think a fanny is... Front bottom. The front, front bottom. bum. The front bottom. Front <laughs> lady. Oh, the fanny, I saw Le that. It's a lady place. Yeah. Yeah. Lady place. <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. So, we've gone, anyway. from, we've gone from Japan to naming genitals. <laughs> yeah, this is interesting. Right. This is quite typical of the new master sounds, yeah, actually. Yeah. So, um, I love your music, but I would like to know... Yes, music. let's talk about the music. So, um, I would like to hear about any new projects or what are, what are you guys working on that you want to, you know, anything interesting going on? Well, we just, uh, the boring bit is that, well, the exciting bit yes. is that we just released a new album and everyone should go out and buy it. Um, uh, the, and the interesting thing is that we've made another album <laughs> that we're not supposed to talk about. But, you see, we, we, made the, we made the album that's just been released a year ago and we got excited about it then. Uh, so now we have to feign excitement for marketing purposes, but really, we're on to the next thing, and hope you know, you know, it's very difficult to coordinate what's going on. Don't tell anyone I said that at all. And it's out now. Yeah, right. out now in a record store near you. <laughs> Dusty Grooves. What do you yes, have to say? Dusty Grooves. Dusty Grooves. We want break from the border right here. And. Sorry, my baby. <laughs> her over. She's pretty hot. Um, I got a spanker bum. She's tall and skinny like me. A smacking up Geraldine's bum. That's so rude. Hey, I'm not tall and skinny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> Neither is he. Don't worry about it. Um, My dress is steaming up. Uh, I don't know if it's the the conversation or just the humidity, but um, it's funny. It's difficult to see out of them. What's like one of the good experiences or something funny you guys have seen? How's everything going? Any funny? Um, at the, at this festival, giant, there was a giant blow-up doll yes. during that gig, which oh, reminded, lady doll. reminded me of the time that Probably we were playing at a bachelorette party. 
unwittingly because we, it was just our regular gig but a load of bachelorettes came in and they had a giant inflatable strap on penis which they started kind of rubbing against us while we were playing from here to there. and when I saw this giant inflatable doll on a stick earlier at our gig here in Chicago I thought ah I had a bit of a flashback thinking we yeah. might be about to be violated <laughs> how could it be violated what about you? Did you guys see um, what have I seen no I haven't actually I've just seen um, we, we have very happy people we've only been here about three hours oh okay we got, oh. we got here we just had to play and uh, and then we saw we, each other didn't we and, yeah. and our audience and we've yeah. pretty much just yeah not done much so you guys seem really close and I know that with all business sh partnerships and you know you're like family all together how do you guys stay together like how do you I just realised as you said that that my arm's getting really clammy but we're not we're only close because of the, uh, the the background noise normally we insist on separate separate couches these days because it's got so acrimonious hey, nice. someone showed their bottom to us we saw someone's bum it's all right he's a, yeah he's, we need a pov he's, he's a friend of my mother's it's fine <laughs> Is he? Um, i can't remember the, the the moonings put me off my stride i don't know what we were talking about well, basically what i want to know is like you know how working together all the time how do you guys keep it sane and you know you know get along and just get back to business we try we try our best to spend at least six hours a day in a in a really small confined space together and that seems to work i.e. A, a little dodge caravan or something driving around uh, the u.s. but when it we're makes, when, makes us really close when we're on planes we we choose to sit seat separately don't we generally <laughs> like long-haul flights we all just go in different parts of the plane and when we're not doing this we don't actually see each other don't even like each other. At all. Even That's the name. truth. We, don't we live, see we live on we live all in different, different countries. Yeah. And we don't see each other until we come on tour. So it's like more of a reunion when you guys get together. Oh, I suppose it's a, a mild reunion. A mild reunion. It's, yeah. it's never usually longer than a month that we haven't seen each other. But yesterday it had been a month. Yeah. And it was like, oh, hello, everyone. How's, how's everyone's month we, been? We've all got stories to tell each other. So does that make it like difficult to like keep your music and you know work being so far together and produce new albums? Uh, we end up having no. to play tunes that we've been playing for 12 years over and over again. <laughs> Rubbish. Uh, no, oh, we, 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 we're really, really selling us we're well. Re so we're I really know. hungry for novelty in our set. But because we don't have to, we don't rehearse, but when we play over here, we get the chance to kind of try new things out on every single time, we, every show we play. We can try things out or, mess, you know, mess around a bit musically. So you can't rehearse that stuff. And the thought of rehearsing with these guys makes me feel sick. So. No point <laughs> So, what's some of your favorite cities to tour? New Orleans, we've been to many, many times. Why it's the best Orleans? one. New Orleans. New Orleans? New Orleans. New Orleans. So, I'm sorry, that was the English accent. Uh -huh. uh, San Francisco, Chicago, of course. Yay, Chicago! Um, don't know, guys, where else? No, nowhere in the mid, nowhere in the, uh, apart from Chicago, nowhere in the Midwest. <laughs> so, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. Be careful with that one. I like Chicago. Careful where we are. We love Chicago. Chicago, Chicago was the first place we ever played in the U.S. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's it's filled. It How many times have you been to Chicago? Oh. Ten, at least ten. Yeah. Hi. Right, yeah. The camera now. Well, we love when you come to Chicago, and we want you to come back often, and make sure you come see Chicago Chadell. Um, I just before we end this, I just want to say thank you, and I hope you guys have a good time, and. Come back later because we're going to have more festivities. We'll see you tonight on stage. Yes! Give me a kiss. You make a lovely thing. Hi. One more thing. Um, I just want to say that you guys have the hottest accents in the world. And I just want to tell everyone like where everyone's from. So say your name and where you're from. My name's Joe and I'm from Leeds in England. England. My name's Pete, and I'm actually from Leeds. None of these guys are from Leeds. I'm the only one. Tell them where you're actually from. My name's Eddie, and I'm from Swansea. In Wales. I feel like a contestant yes. on some kind of weird show. Uh, hello, Gareth. Yes, my name's Simon, and I was born in Leamington Spa. They won't understand a word of that. Now say it properly. My name is Simon, and the things I draw come okay, true. In a gay LA accent. My name's Simon, and I, I'm from the UK, you know, but I lost my accent a while ago. Is this thing on? Well, thank you guys. I can't wait to see you guys again. And come back to Chicago and please keep in touch. Thank you guys.